numbers from 61 to 70. Hello children. In the previous video we had learned how to read numbers from 51 to 60 in terms of ones and tens. In this video we will learn numbers from 61 to 70 and some interesting examples on how to read those numbers in terms of ones and tens. Children, today Choto with his friends is going on a school tour to a candle making factory where beautiful candles are being made and then sent to shops where these are sold. Oh Pinky, look this place has so many candles. Yes, but how do these people count so many candles? Come let me tell you. They first put 10 candles in each box. Right now we have 6 such boxes in front of us. So can you tell me how many candles must be there in total? Yes, see, there are 6 boxes with 10 candles in each of them. Six boxes would mean sixty candles. Chota, look, there are four more candles. Please count these as well. We have six boxes of candles here, which means sixty candles. And four more along with these comes to sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, and sixty-four. These are sixty-four in total. Pinky, can you tell me how many ones and tens are there in sixty-four? Yes, sixty-four has six tens and four ones. Excellent, you are absolutely correct. A little later, Chotu and Pinky found some more candles there. Come, let us see what they are doing now. Oh, look, Pinky, some more candles. Yes, Chotu, let us count these also. Earlier we had a total of 64 candles and now we have five more. Children, do you know how many candles have Chotu and Pinky seen so far? Come let us find. After 64 candles, it will be 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So these are now 69 candles. Chotu, can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in 69? Sixty-nine has six tens and nine ones. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Earlier we saw six groups of ten candles each, and then we saw nine loose candles, which means nine ones. Yes, Pinky, counting candles was a lot of fun today. Children, you saw how Chotu and Pinky counted candles. They had sixty-nine candles, which means six tens and nine ones. Children had Chotu and Pinky got one more candle. Then what would have become the total number of candles? They would have got seventy candles. Meaning, after six groups of ten candles, they would have got one more bundle of ten candles. This means seven tens. That was all for today, children. In this video we have learned about numbers from 61 to 70 and saw some interesting examples about how to read those numbers in terms of ones and tens. In the next video we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 51 to 70 and discuss some common mistakes that we should avoid. Until then bye children.